Oh, all right. Oh, got that sun on my sun out of my eyes. Okay. Uh, I don't usually uh, video record here because I'm just one inch. The back two legs of my chair are one inch. That's a few centimeters from falling off my porch. And I live in a lava bed. If I go backwards here, mm -hmm, I can't afford uh, the ambulance. You know, uh, my neighbor, he got COVID-19, called an ambulance. They billed him $2,300 to take him 22 miles. He just died uh, rather than pay that bill, huh? You know, you got that bill? He said, okay, ventilator, please. So uh, I got to watch it, huh? All right, back to the history of the Matala Caves by the Biozone Within Himself. Uh, yeah, major twist in the history, 4th century, when Rome went Christian. <laughs> 313 A.D. Uh, and emperor worship was out. And Jesus freaks were in. Uh, so they uh, took over these old uh, Roman emperor worshiping skeletons and threw them into the sea. Just get rid of those old bones. And they moved in 444 A.D. Yeah, after uh, their girl got nailed up in uh, over there. Rabble rouser. And so, out of the caves, now comes bulging eyes of fasting troglodytes, uh, torturing themselves, beds of nettles and bramble bushes and sea urchin shells. Don't lie in that. And the crack, crack, crack of whips. They're getting off on flagellating themselves. I mean, would somebody teach them how to masturbate? It's a lot less hard on the system. Um, yeah. Uh, well, they'd flagellate anybody they got within range of them, huh? Well, fast track, we're talking 1941. I mean... The Nazis, goose-stepping, and the invasion of Crete. Yeah, and the Germans fortified this coastline. We're talking a Gan a Guns of Navarone film, David Niven, Gregory Peck. Times. And they thought the British were going to counterattack. I mean, the British were in northern Africa. It's not that far away. Northern Africa. You're looking right at it from here, from model of what you see. If you could see that far as northern Africa. Well, so the, they put anti-aircraft guns in the caves. I need to trim my hat. Um... Pretty cool move, huh? And, uh, yeah, and then that's what you hear. Anti-aircraft fire. I'm not going to impersonate anti-aircraft fire. I've tried it before, and it... No. A brain donkey? An elephant, rogue elephant wanting to mate? I can do those impressions, but a machine gun? Well, 17 centuries after Fabius Spartacus doggied up on uh, Aphrodite. Every languid summer afternoon. Whack, whack, whack. Would you get those Christian freaks out of the history? It's hard to smudge them out. Oh, and the confession of the, the, the Christian. Uh, he's been beaten up and he just says, Look, uh, I've been fasting for so long. I got hungry. Shielding his face from the whip. Oh, that wasn't the reply he was looking for. Oh, here come the British unloading their bombs over Nazi-occupied graves. Well, finally, oh, thank God, to now, 
We're talking 1969, and the well, fucking hippies are taking over the cats. You see how this has come full circle? You can't see me because I'm in the dark. Um, two millennia? <laughs> Hippie global grasshoppers settling into the ancient Roman crypts. And if you're a Yank hiding from the Vietnam War, I had enough. Uh, to, to, to be stoned enough. Hook it up enough. Take a mega dose of LSD at the Acropolis on the full moon, and you're guaranteed to go to India after that. It's just happened all the time. You got your stumble, mm -hmm. cross the Hashish Trail, and, you know. Uh, I know the Hashish Trail so well. It's like tattooed on my eyelashes. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with all of those stops. And finally, yeah, and you go up to the Gohani Hotel in Sultomed by those little black Turkish wafers, huh? Get you through the night on the roof there. That's also coming up in this story. Oh, a lot about that. Well, look, at uh, distinctive freaks uh, colonize specific narrow passageways and all oh, sleeping bags neatly tuck into the burial crypts, uh, quarried out of these passage walls and tight passages, negotiate into arched chamber galleries uh, where hippie elders like me, we hold court with stand-up Afghani hookahs. We, got, we import these from Peace Ali in Kandahar. Um, well, Bison, he wraps up his freaky history of Matala with a personal touch. Look, He's got that big shipment coming in tomorrow morning. Uh, suppose you come back across the Hashish Trail, and oh, yeah, you're a smarty pants smuggler. You got, like, you know, some serious kilos to unload. Uh, just turn your whole operation over to uh, me. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I know these crypt caves. There's many caves. You'll never find them. You got to crawl through backwards to get into them. Honest scales. Oh, yeah, I got the triple beamers. You can balance them out before each deal. And bricks of cash. Oh, I'm going to buy your whole load. And as the buyer zone within. Uh, no hippie goes hungry. In Matala. After this uh, Grandmaster's oral history of Matala, Sphinx whispers to Biazon, Are we good? Red Beach. Way away from here. 9 a.m. You got to be precisely on time. Literally, your ship is coming in. And Biozone whispers, Awesome, man.